Okay, let's look at capitalization now. That is writing the capital letter. When do you do that? The good thing about English is there's very clear rules about how to do it. The bad thing is there's a lot of rules. So let's just jump in and look at the rules, I guess, is the way to do it. Here is a list. This is kind of a complete list, but I think there's even more special cases. But anyway, let's just look at this basic list. The first letter of the first word of a sentence. I think everyone knows that. Beginning a sentence, you need to capitalize. The first letter of the first word in every line of poetry. We're going to look at that in a second. That's a little bit special. Titles of publications, titles of movies, titles of poems, television program titles, radio programs, works of art, names of people, names of countries and nations, names of states, cities and towns, names of regions, official titles, degrees, like when you go to study, right? Names of oceans, rivers, lakes, mountains, and deserts all need to be capitalized. Names of parks, names of organized groups, names of businesses, names of schools, artistic and philosophical movement names, historical eras, names of products, days of the week, days of the months, and holidays and special occasions, special times. They all need to be capitalized. I think some of the things we see there that are pretty easy to remember are names, right? If it's the name of something, probably it needs to be capitalized. Okay, let's go ahead and look at a few examples here. So, of course, it's easy to see here you begin a sentence with capital in English. Always remember that. Here is the title. President. We are scheduled to have lunch with the president, so that is a title. And here is a day of the week, so that's capitalized. So there are great examples of capitalizing a few rules. Let's go ahead and look deeper at a few of these. First of all, the first letter. I think easy for everyone to remember. They like to write. Today is a beautiful day. You always begin an English sentence with a capital letter. Maybe this one you don't know, though. This is poetry, so writing a poem. Please take a look here. We have a capital letter here, and then here we have a comma. But then the next line has a capital letter, even though this was not a period here, so it's not a new sentence. In fact, every line here is capitalized, has a capital letter. Why? Because it's poetry. This is a child's poem you read to children. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. So, yeah, that sounds like fun, right? But it's a poem, and poems, every line begins with a capital letter. Here's another poem. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. So, in fact, this is a song, not a poem, but very similar. There is no period there. There's not even a comma there but the next line begins with a capital letter. So if you read some songs, you'll see that they begin with capital letters that way. Here are some examples of, like for example, books or films, War and Peace, Star Wars. Now these also have a line underneath them, an underline. That's because names of books and names of movies and films should also be underlined, and TV shows too. So here is an example of this last sentence. When I was young, I liked to watch the television show All in the Family. So All Family, and in the is not capitalized. So the, you capitalize the name of the show, but it's only like the nouns and the key words, but not the in-between words like in or the or a. Uh. You don't capitalize those. So you can check out the rules in more detail, but I think this will help you as a rule of thumb. And if it's something like a movie or a TV show, then you can probably go online and look up its official name and see how they capitalize it, rather than trying to guess. How about people's names? Of course, people's names are capitalized, like Alice Smith. In this case, Alice is her first name. Smith is her family name, or second name, or last name. And we also, in English, often have a middle name. So, for instance, Winston S. Churchill. S is the middle name. And you can see the middle name is capitalized also. 
Now, in this case, the middle name is also condensed to just be S. You could write your whole name, that many people do that, or you can abbreviate it with one letter, that's okay too, but it doesn't really matter. In any case, you're going to begin with a capital letter. So here is Winston, W, S, capitalized, and C, Churchill, capitalized. Let's look at another special case maybe you don't know about, but is very interesting. And that is when you use a name, like a pet name or a nickname, a name that is not the person's real name, but is a name that kind of stands in for the person. Look at this example here, it's very interesting. Ronald Reagan is the great communicator. So Ronald Reagan is the person's name. R, Ronald is capital R. Reagan is also capital R. That's his first name and his last name, his family name. But next we say, is the great communicator. G and C are capitalized. Why are G and C capitalized? Because that's his nickname. I can call him the great communicator. I don't have to use his name. I can just call him this name because that's kind of like his name. Then we go ahead and we capitalize it. Here's another example that's really clear. We call him Big Boy. So what is his name? I don't even know his real name. His real name is not even here. But everybody calls him Big Boy. And because that's a person, and this is like his name, his nickname or his pet name, we need to capitalize B, Big, and B as in boy. Philadelphia is known as the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia is a city, so you need to capitalize P. But city of brotherly love is kind of a name, a nickname that everybody uses for that city. So if I write that, I need to capitalize it. Of course, places like countries and cities, you capitalize Taiwan, Taichung, Taipei, Shanghai. My university is located in Oklahoma, that's a state, and USA is a country. So these are pretty straightforward. I think you're familiar with those. How about something like this? Southeast Asia, that's a region, that's an area. But we go ahead and we capitalize that because it's the name of an area. Here's one that I think people often get wrong, and that is titles. So for example, you have a chance to meet Queen Elizabeth. Now her name is Elizabeth, her name is not Queen, but Queen is her title, so you do capitalize a person's title. Another example here, tomorrow, President Lee, P, President, that's his title, so you do capitalize that. John Wong, first name capital, last name, family name capitalized, PhD, now PhD stands for Doctor of Philosophy, it's two words. So the P and the D, Doctor Philosophy, must be capitalized. Look at the next example. The research was completed by Judy Wong, J and W, and then MBA. What is MBA? Master of Business Administration. That's her title, so you need to capitalize it. But this is a little bit confusing, isn't it? I see MBA is capitalized because M is Master, B is Business, A is Administration, so each word is capitalized. But there's no period in there, and there's no space. And look at PhD, P, H, with a period and no space a D, and then a period at the end. How very strange. Well, people get this wrong all the time. They put periods where they don't belong, or they skip them. I can't really tell you a rule for this. When it comes to abbreviations, you need to check the official way to write it. So I would check the dictionary like Webster's Dictionary, I highly recommend. The key point for us in this lesson is titles are capitalized. That is a key thing to remember. How do you do the periods? How do you do the abbreviation? You need to check the dictionary because it's kind of a special case almost each and every time. You need to do things like capitalize oceans, rivers, lakes, the names. This is easy to remember because it's a name, right? But look at this example, Atlantic Ocean. Our ship will cross the Atlantic Ocean. So you actually also capitalize the O because it's part of the name. Or how about this example? We can go to see Sun, Moon, Lake. The lake is also capitalized because again, that is part of the name. 
You also capitalize names of clubs and organizations and companies. So for example here, he belongs to the Lions Club. And the word club is capitalized. Why? Because that's actually part of their name. How would you know? You can check their official website. And probably not just the front page where they capitalize everything, but look inside the text to be sure. What is their official name and how do they capitalize it? You would follow that. Here's another example. My wife works at Apple. What is Apple? What's well, a company name? Apple Computer Company. So capitalize a company's name also. Of course, historical eras is a little bit hard to remember. Here's an example. I was in Israel during the Gulf War. What is that? That's the name of a time, a special time, so it gets capitalized. The Renaissance is a very important part of Western history. Now here we have Renaissance, that's a time, and Western history, that's a region. So they also get capitalized. Again, you might want to check the dictionary because sometimes it's hard to know. Is this an era? Is this a region? Uh, I'm not really so sure. Check the dictionary. Here we have some more examples. This is a Microsoft program. That's a company name or sometimes a product name. I just bought a Rico fax machine. That's a company or brand name and they also get capitalized. Of course, the one I think everyone is very familiar with is the days of the week or the month, September. My son was born in September. But also holidays get capitalized. We are going home for Christmas because Christmas is the name of a holiday, so it gets capitalized too. Okay, well, that's not everything for capitalization, but that's kind of a good overview. Again, check your dictionary. It'll help you to solve this problem. Please don't go online just looking because if you just look online, you search. I can promise you, you'll find somebody who's done it wrong. And if you copy someone who did it wrong, guess what? You're wrong too. The good thing about capitalization is it's got a bunch of rules. Just follow the rules. Don't guess. Good luck.